Today is the 15th Sunday of Ordinary Time, in Year C. Our Gospel text is taken from the Gospel of Luke, Chapter 10. It's a very familiar text. And we need to be very careful of it because it is so familiar. It's the story of the Good Samaritan, which emerges in an interchange between Jesus and a lawyer. I suggest there is a trap here for the unwary and indeed for the lazy preacher. The trap is that we take this gospel text as a moral fable. That is, here's a man who's doing something good, you go out and do something good too. Be kind to one another, be kind to your neighbour. I think it's the question the lawyer asks is where we need to begin. That's where Jesus begins. That give rise to his response. The question is, who is my neighbour? Even the most cursory reflection on this question takes us back, I would suggest, to the most fundamental revelation in the Bible, where God says to Moses, and it's repeated again and again and again and again throughout the Bible, I'm with you. It is a revelation of God's nature, actually. It is part of the makeup of God to be with. God is seen through the lens of relationship and community. God is not a distant, abstract, solitary infinity, a prime mover or a first mover or whatever. The God of the Bible is one deeply and intimately engaged with us. It's that word with that I would like us to dwell on in this particular reflection. And it runs counter to a mood or a theme that seems to have become very important, very significant, very dominant in our lives. And it's the theme of individualism. That is the very opposite of what is revealed to us in the Bible, that we are called to be people of communion, people who find in our very beings a sense of unity. Charles Taylor, the eminent Canadian philosopher, says of our times, individualism has come to seem to us just common sense. We don't even notice it anymore. But actually, it does violence to our very natures. That's not the way we are created. We are made in the image and likeness of the eternal being with. It is our destiny. It is our fulfillment. It is our delight to be caught up in communion with God, who is a community, with one another, in relationships. That is written into our DNA. If we listen, if we become aware of who and what we are, that will become preeminent in our lives. It will start to shape our lives, the sense of who we are. We are people of community. We are people of relationship. We belong together. What happens to you happens to me. We are one. When the lawyer asks the question, who is my neighbour? Jesus does not respond with a moral imperative or even a moral fable or moral story. Jesus' response, I think we can say, is existential. He tells a story about really existing people, concrete individuals, but people who are real to the people who are listening. They make the connection. It's not an abstraction. The response of Jesus then is to point to who and what we are as human beings. Not so much to call us to do something, to call us to be aware of 
being something. We are made in the image and likeness of God. The response of the Samaritan is to express his deepest truth. Those who passed by on the other side were caught up in social religious rules which prevented them from expressing their deepest humanity. In our Christian tradition, in our belief in the Incarnation, we believe that Jesus, the embodiment of being with, Emmanuel, God is with us, Matthew reminds us, is the name of the Messiah. It is through him, with him, in him, that we recover our birthright, that our beings are healed and we are not only enabled to seek community, but we long for it. We become aware that this is what we're made for. In this, we will thrive. This is the birthplace of Christian morality. I think it would be fair to say that all Christian morality finds its source in Jesus Christ, not just as an example. See the way he behaved? Do it. Jesus is actually the cause of our being good because we formed a communion with him and with others. We've discovered the truth of who we are and that is manifest in the way we behave. Give Jesus free reign in your life.